So hey everyone, this is just in Ethereum on a strong rebound as Bitcoin led crypto markets shrug off China's unfit ban. So the ban didn't do anything, but Dogecoin traded flat on Sunday night, but other major cryptocurrencies were on rebound. So you can see here if we look at this article, it does mention ship so far. Doge traded lower um, from what I can see so far than any other cryptocurrency so far. So Ethereum shot up 7%. Uh, all of these cryptocurrencies have been growing. Uh, I'm not going to be going too much specifics. Thank you so much for dropping a like in which cryptocurrencies actually saw huge gains. But it, it's something to you know consider of all cryptocurrencies that could be growing. Doge was not one of them. And it does seem like to me that Doge is being controlled by very big whales. And what this basically means is what I noticed for Shiba Inu. Yes, some of the whales are selling off, you know. Um, let's not keep our eyes shut about it. But the reality is that 75% of the supply is con controlled by the top 10 whales. So that is something to do in, in, Shiba, uh, in Dogecoin. So that is definitely something you should consider. So Bitcoin is anti-China technology. It would seem like a negative thing to have China ban Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, but the market barely cares after the 10th time, said cryptocurrency entrepreneur Anthony Pompilano as per Coindesk. So with that being said, cryptocurrency tra trader Michael Van de Poppe on Sunday's rebound commented that the markets are bottomed in a separate tweet. He said markets doing fine, great bounce today. So on Ethereum side, the rebound was led by institutional investors as the price moved past the $3,000 level. So what does this mean for SHIB? Well, very simply put, I do think we're going to be seeing a lot more growth for SHIB. Weekly close equally is important for Ethereum today as the price test the previous range highs as support. Seems like a logical area to make a higher low and I have bought more for the long term backswing trading. So they're basically holding for the long term, but the only thing that hasn't seen any growth is Dogecoin. And Shiba Inu stagnation period might result in a 20% correction. Even if we see a 20% correction, it doesn't mean Shiba Inu is over. It just means on the short term, Shiba Inu is going to be seeing some correction so far. So Shiba Inu price has spent 10 days consolidating inside a triangle pattern. Extremely choppy and indecisive price action makes short term speculation difficult. And bulls and bears are training in a painful market condition. Indecision is likely to end soon as Shiba Inu approaches a breakout zone ahead. With that being said, I'm seriously excited to talk about something else as Shiba Inu price could drop to basically the sixes. A bearish breakout from the triangle is necessary for, the, for downside pressure. Not going too much into specifics here, technical analysis. I do want to say the whales are controlling Shiba Inu's market right now. If Shiba Inu goes up, the whales bump. Is that a bad thing? No, I just think with more burn, with more utility, that is going to correct itself. And one day, Shiba Inu is going to be seeing such a big increase as Solana. It could be eating a few zeros. It definitely has a big chance of going 10x compared to, you know, Dogecoin going 10x. So go ship, we believe Inu. And that is really really exciting you know we all believe in shiba inu but coinbase also launches get paid in crypto direct deposit so that is awesome an easier way to let me dca sign me up that sounds like an awesome idea let's see how easy to I actually make it so on monday coinbase announced get paid in crypto a new service that will let nearly anyone in the us who gets paid by direct deposit receive all of their wages in bitcoin ethereum or various other cryptocurrencies Whoa, game changer. Why would you do this? I do 25% on my paycheck. This is essentially a lazy way to do DCA. Couldn't you just set up automatic buys for every month? What's the difference? The major takeaway for me is the banks could see start a see a dwindling of their customer deposits, which is less money that, that they can see a loan out for their revenue. With that being said, this means the banks are making less money and you as a Shiba Inu holder are going to be making more money. As you can see over here, Coinbase is working with major seller compliances uh, to let millions of workers get paid in crypto. So millions of people are now going to be paid in crypto and that's going to be a huge thing. You can set up direct deposits in a few steps without leaving the Coinbase app. The blog post also noted that those who sign up direct deposit can receive their wages into their Coinbase account in either dollars or crypto. Both options are free. There's no service fee. Though Coinbase will earn a small profit in a form of a spread for those who chose to be paid directly in crypto. The new direct deposit option is a significant development for the crypto industry since Coinbase, which has recently partnered up with SHIB, has tens of millions of US customers. If even a small percentage of them sign up, it could increase the overall demand for Bitcoin, making basically converting your wage or even a part of your wage 
into Bitcoin. Isn't that going to be awesome? You know, they're going to be holding your Bitcoin and the Coinbase card is connected to the Visa network and lets user shop just as it would anywhere else. The difference is their pur purchase is funded by cryptocurrency. So this is massive adoption that nobody's talking about. But this is huge. This basically means that people can be basically paid for a ship. They could be paid in the Shiba Inu wage. Would you do that? With Shiba Inu going up and down, you know, your wage from $2,000 can turn you to $4,000 one day. Same goes for Ethereum. And that's what people are excited for. Coinbase has acknowledged this friction, offered a reward system. Uh, more broadly, Coinbase's new direct deposit offering comes at a time when a wide variety of financial upstarts are challenging traditional banks for their business. Those include not only crypto companies, but fintech companies like PayPal, Venmo, Square, and Sophie are all joining in, where they would have been rapidly integrating crypto features themselves. So uh, this is really, really awesome from what I can see so far. You know, we have been seeing so much news for example, Facebook is spending 50 million to build a metaverse. Uh, that is really awesome if you haven't heard of that. Like Morgan Stanley is bullish on crypto bank Silvergate. Uh, there's going to be a crypto bank up recently, and that is what everyone is excited about. Atari founder is launching automated reality NFTs. Nobody knows who controls the key to El Salvador's Bitcoin. You know, there's so much news out there that just makes uh, Shiba Inu go really well let's make it look really really well as more people are buying in who knows that you know who knows in five to ten years where shiba inu will be it's definitely going to be alive for at least another two years it's going to be stronger but if we check over here let me just tell you how early it is for crypto apple stock is worth more than the entire crypto market cap we are still early. Once in a while, this sub gets questions. Are we really early? Answers will vary, but two most common answers are, yes, we're still early Bitcoin to 1 million. No, Bitcoin is too high. And just a sm small comparison between two markets, crypto and stock market, entire crypto market cap is worth around 2 trillion, basically, today. One of the richest companies today is Apple, and their stock have a market capitalization of 2.4 trillion. If we count only top 10 stock, we will get marketplization above 13 trillion. We're still early. I don't say crypto will get a valuable like stock market anytime soon, but it still has a lot of room to grow. If our wild wildest dreams come true and some cryptocurrencies get recognized as a global payment currency, we can still hit that moon. And who knows? Back in March, the market cap of Bitcoin was larger than the market cap of Visa and MasterCard combined. So there's that. But that being said, Visa and MasterCard realized this and now they're joining offering crypto services because they know it's super early for crypto. This time it's going to be different. So uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more growth. We either hit, haven't hit the mania parabolic phase in this run yet or we aren't going to because the phase doesn't exist anymore. So uh, granted, there's always a chance that we don't know anything about, but we could be seeing another new growth very, 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 very soon. As Anthony Scramucci says, only about 10% of financial institutions are buying crypto, but it's like a feeding frenzy among the ones getting involved. He predicts one of the big banks will end up buying a Coinbase or something crypto related as a way to gain big presence in the crypto world. So Coinbase will get bought by one of these big financial institutions. But Anthony Samucci sees a little sign of institutional interest in crypto despite the retail boom. But who knows? One of them, one of the big banks or, or someone will buy a big company to get into crypto. So the Skybridge Capital boss said anyone who says there is institutional adoption is not being really honest. So there's not a lot of adoption still for institutions, as I saw from this article. But some big banks are getting involved into crypto, which is really important. Plenty of others are put off with volatility. So the institutions are not there. And anybody who's telling you that there's institutional adoption into this space is not being totally honest. Or there's something that I'm not seeing. So Bitcoin has risen about 300%, but we still don't have institutions in. It's going to take some time. Uh, this is the truth. You know, institutions are still not into ship. They still haven't invested millions. I'm talking about $10 million in a single transaction. When that happens... You know, when DeFi hits, when ShibaSwap makes a change that institutions will have to get in, that is when everything changes. So Skaramushi said he thinks one of the big banks will end up buying a Coinbase or something crypto related as a way to gain presence in the crypto world. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace everyone.